know the creator side, you know the brand side. Talk to me about, you know, and you've gone up the rankings rapidly over the last couple of years in terms of influencer coverage. What has been your approach to working with other creators on the behalf on behalf of Notorium or, you know, as part of Notorium? Um, so talk to me yeah. a little bit about, about that. How do you how do you approach it? What are some of your philosophies? Well, you know, I again I go back to community. If people are skincare creators, there's a very good chance that they've seen some of my content or actually follow me. And I feel like, you know, I, I remember yeah. what it was like to be just a few years ago, a content creator who was struggling to get brands to notice me, to get my following, to, you know, just be consistent and and stay, you know, in that good in the good graces of brands too, right? Like you want them to notice you. And, um, and when you're a smaller creator, they don't, right? And I think this is obviously shifting with, with TikTok mm-hmm. trends. Um, but being a micro-influencer back in the day was so unglamorous, right? Like it, you, it was not fun and yeah, you felt the struggle yeah. hard. And so I really focus on micro-influencers, our small community, right? They're, they're the community of smaller creators. Um, I think they're very important. And I think that if you don't focus on them, then you're making a big mistake because Big influencers, when they have massive followings, they can't keep up. They are expensive, like astronomically sometimes. Sometimes you're like, this. the ROI on this just makes zero sense. Like, why would I want to work with somebody who has, you know, even if they have 10 million followers, why would I want to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to work with them if we can't even guarantee that I'm going to get that money back at very least, right? Whereas you can reach out to, and and by the way, they don't even care about your content. You're just like another drop in the in the bucket for them, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and and not to not to not to you know, obviously there are some amazing huge creators out there, and I'm so grateful for those relationships too. But the relationships that if I could only choose one, it would be the micro influencers because they are so much more important. They are so much more invested in the brand with you, right? Like they actually are excited about your new launches. They want to know about all the little details, you know, like we like do so much research on innovation and new ingredients. And do you think a big influencer cares about that? They do not care, right? (laughs) But when it comes to your community, the smaller influencers, this is what they live for. They're like, this is the good stuff, right? Like they want your brand because they know that you put all that time and effort into it and you're not trying to create a viral product. And I think this is a big mistake that a lot of brands have made. They are trying to find, they're trying to create a viral product, but a viral product, great. You're going to have money for in the meantime, but like, how are you going to keep customers coming back to your brand and sticking with a consistent skincare routine, especially with skincare makeup? I get it. It's seasonal. It's like fashion. It comes and goes, right? But your skincare, you have to be consistent. You cannot be focused on making just viral products all the time. So you have to make products that are really good. And it is your smaller micro influencers who care about that. They want to hear from you. They want to know about all this stuff. They love incentives. They love when you acknowledge them. I'm all about the micro influencers. Well, I can tell you from a data-driven perspective, that's the way to go. When we look at Mm -hmm. the data, the brands that grow are are more likely to grow very quickly, tend to outperform with micro influencers. So when compared to their peers, they out index with micro creators, because like you said, easier to work with, they do grow over time. So when you build relationships with them early, they remember it years later. Mm -hmm. Um, And they're, you know, they connect with their audience in a meaningful way, right? Like it's a real thing. 